I was playing around with Ash AI this morning and realized I should share what I learned with all of you. For those of you who don't know, Ash is a batteries included framework for building web apps fast. Built to complement the Phoenix framework, a Phoenix rises from the ashes after all, its declarative programming model and extensive plugin ecosystem replaces repetitive context module, persistence, and authorization work, and so much more. In the current software moment, an AI plugin was inevitable. This one provides embeddings, vector search, the foundations of an MCP, and an LLM chat with tool use. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to start off with a completely blank Phoenix 1.8 project. Ash installations are easy through the Igniter tool. This is going to pull in packages and perform code generation all in one place. And just a few moments later, authentication and AI are installed. Now let's run the chat demo that's built into the Ash AI package. I'll run mix Ash AI gen chat, and let's throw in a live for Phoenix Live View. It'll install some packages, run some code generation, and scaffold out what's necessary to do the demo. And with just a few commands, I have the rough foundation of an AI chat app, as long as I provide an open AI key. If I go into the runtime config file, it looks like we need the open AI API key to be in an environment variable. Now I can run mix phx.server to get this thing started. Opening up my browser, I have to run database migrations, but they're just a single click away. Now, if I go to localhost 4000 slash chat, I have to sign in. This will require an account, so I'll make one real quick. Need an account. And now if I go to slash chat, I'm in the chat window. Now it looks like any LLM chat app. And I'll ask for a book recommendation. I like The Expanse. What else should I read? Now, it's crazy that this is the modern Hello World application. It looks like there's a recommendation for the culture series in here. Um, what's a good entry point for the culture? Culture is a very long series, a bunch of different pieces to it. It looks like we've got a recommendation here. Now, the first thing that I want to call out is the way the chat name was generated. If we pull up the conversation model, notice this Oban block, which generates a conversation name for any conversations that need a name. And by default, this runs every minute. Because this is a live view, we use PubSub to push the updated conversation to the front end. And that is how the name ended up in the UI. But now let's get into the special stuff. Ash is built around the concept of domains, each of which have resources, which in turn have actions. For example, that conversation resource has a read action called my conversations that shows conversations belonging to the current user. This is exposed by the chat domains code interface, along with some actions from the message resource. And all of this is vanilla Ash, very valuable, but not AI. But here's the wild part. By adding the Ash AI extension to the domain, I can start defining tools. For example, let's expose my conversations from the conversation resource and for conversation from the message resource as message history for conversation. And now this can be used by AI to do things. Tools are what separate agents from autocomplete. Since these tools are exposed from the domain, I can go into the definition of the chat response handler and add these tools by passing that same name they were registered with as an atom in the tools list. So let's replace this line with one that includes my conversations and message history for conversation. By adding to this one little list, I've given AI the ability to dig through our chat history. Not just that, it can do it on behalf of the current user. Because Ash already has policies and scopes built in, the My Conversations tool will return exactly what it says, My Conversations. I can't even think of how much extra code that requires to get right in most applications. So let's start a new conversation and ask the question, what were those books you recommended again? The model is able to use the tools, find information, and use that in the context of the new conversation. The chat generator, along with tool use, is just a little preview of what can be done. 
I didn't even get into its MCP, embeddings, and support for multiple model providers. If you want to learn more about Ash AI, check out Zach Daniels' incredible Elixir Conf EU talk, linked below. And if you liked this video, let YouTube know. This has been Code and Stuff. Thanks for watching.